What's going on guys? It's your boy Luke Thomas NY here back at you with another unboxing videos. I know these are your favorite um, With today we've got the Bose Soundlink headphones These are the new uh, Bose wireless around the ear headphones that do not feature um, The Bose infamous noise canceling technology um, What these do however have is the ability to link up to your phone to allow you to make phone calls with a noise rejecting um, microphone array um, and up to 15 hours of battery life per charge. Uh, plus if you've never put on a pair of the Bose uh, headphones before they're super comfortable. Um, so this is definitely something I'd recommend you know uh, checking out if you haven't yet. Um, I checked these out in the store for a bunch of times. I just, you know, I've had my eye on these and I just, just finally picked them up. So I'm going to go ahead and pop them open and check out what's inside of the box. So let's take a look. Box slides right open like that. This part comes all the way off. And then, let's see. It folds open. Ooh, there's instructions on how to either use NFC to pair or Bluetooth. Um, and then instructions on um, how to skip forward and skip back in case you've never used like a three button pair of headphones before. But yeah. Bose Connect. There's an app I guess you can download from the Bose store. They've got some padding inside of here, literally just a piece of like, it's hard to describe, it's, it's like thin styrofoam, thin flexible styrofoam, just to keep everything protected. And then you've got inside of the box your headphones, inside of a case, inside of a plastic bag. And then underneath that we've got here some more instructions, some more user manuals. Let's take a look through these in a second here. And a little like gel packet thing. Um, so this is not like a hard box. Like I wish that this box had like a top to it that once you slid it out of that, that it had like a top. But all that, that it has for a top is this little like flappy foldy thing that comes out of here. Um, so you can't like reuse really this box down the line like as like a proper box. So you want to be like use a box to like wrap up a present in. That would not be the box for you. So it looks like the instructions here come in a few different languages. English, Dutch, Finnish, and a bunch of other stuff actually. So the languages for the headphones are really, really universal. So pretty much whether you speak English or not, you're going to be able to figure out how to set these up. Um, safety instructions. I don't think I'm too worried about being safe with my headphones, I guess. I'm not worried about them hurting me for the most part. Uh, information about the warranty and how to register your product. That's always good. And then something that is completely in like German or something. Like front and back German. Um, but yeah, and then there's this little paper that says this warranty information with this product does not apply in Australia and New Zealand. So if you live in Australia or New Zealand, you are fucked. Just kidding, it says there's a website you can visit to get more information about that. So I'm going to throw this crap back in the box with the padding. Let's get to the headphones. The case, the contents of the case. Oh. I was expecting there to be some kind of tape like holding it shut. It's just like in a bag. Nope, no tape. The case is nice. It's kind of like this two texture feel to it. The top has like a like this textured like cloth, like reminiscent of like a CD like case almost. And then the bottom is like this like fake leather, faux leather. I'm assuming fake leather. Um, and then it unzips. So you got a nice case in case you're going to be traveling or anything like that. Oh. 
inside of the inside here you get a very flimsy looking auxiliary cable labeled with the Bose name brand I mean I know it's only for when you occasionally need to plug these into something but it's a very 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 thin wire um, that's my like first like first impression at least you know and then your charging cable which is a very very short cable now you wouldn't be like charging these while you're listening to them I'm not even sure that it supports doing that but that's a really short charging cable and a really thin auxiliary cable for something with this kind of price tag on it um, the there's a it's hard to see because it's all black but there's this little divider that pokes out inside of the case that keeps your left ear and right ear separated from each other while they're inside of there and then I mean that's basically it I was kind of worried that when I opened this up there was gonna just be like a loose wire set of wires inside of here but this pocket is even hard to see it's so like flat and like thin to the case that you can definitely even like probably cram a couple of other things in there like if you wanted to throw like a memory card for like an SD like an SD memory card for a camera inside of there or something else along those lines you probably could no problem um, but yeah, these headphones are super comfortable. I'm excited to go ahead and pair them up with my phone in a minute. I'm not sure if they're charged up or not, so I don't know for sure that I'm going to be able to do that right away. I might give it a try though, right now. Yeah, let's go ahead and give it a try. Fuck it. Yep, it says ready to pair right in the headphones. Let's see, I'll turn on my Bluetooth. Awesome. I have a very polite lady telling me that it's connected to my phone. I'm gonna go ahead and check out some music really quick and then I'm gonna wrap this up. I don't wanna keep you guys here all day. But uh, yeah, let's uh, give it a listen. Alright, one thing I noticed immediately, and this might work out a little bit differently on iPhone, but when I um, turn up the volume on the headphones, that's independent of the volume control on the phone. So while they're at max volume on here, I can still turn it up or down on my phone. Or you can set it to like an optimal volume from your phone and then turn it down from the headphones. I find that with devices like this with Android, it really makes for uh, elongating the battery if you keep the volume high on your playback device and keep the volume low on your listening device. So turn it up on your cell phone, turn it down on the headphones, and you'll save battery, I'm pretty sure. I can't guarantee anything, but that'd be like my one tip for using these, um, in case you didn't know that or realize that or whatever. But yeah, um, Bose SoundLink headphones. Definitely comfortable. Definitely something you should check out. Sound amazing. I can't barely hear myself right now while I'm talking to you guys. So I'll see you later. I'm going to go listen to some music. I'll catch you guys next time.